Welcome to all of you. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss about mass transfer and transport phenomena for gate chemical engineering preparation. So basically, this is a, a part of a YouTube video lecture series about gate chemical engineering preparation. I have already uploaded uh, uh, videos for heat transfer, uh, thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, mechanical operation, process dynamics and control. Now in this video, I am going to discuss about mass transfer and transport phenomena. So basically, I will discuss about what are the topics which is required to cover for uh, gate chemical engineering. And I will also discuss about what are the sources uh, which uh, one may use to cover those topics. So <clears throat> basically, many students have asked me to upload a video for mass transfer and I have delayed it. Uh, so I would like to say sorry to everyone and uh, before starting this video. So <clears throat> let us start this video. So this is the uh, syllabus uh, which is mentioned uh, on GET uh, website and you may just go through this syllabus uh, I have just given here. So the sources which is required to cover those syllabus are following. Uh, basically there are three different books uh, from which uh, one may cover mass transfer. The one is by Jean Coplis and the book name is Transfer Process and Separation Process uh, Principles by uh, Jean Coplis and the ch chapters or pages which I will su suggest is basically from 4th edition. Okay. There is another very good book by Treval and book name is Mass Transfer Operation and uh, uh, the chapter's name or pages which I will suggest uh, is from 3rd edition. There is another book by McKib and Smith and the book name is Unit Operation of Chemical Engineering. So there are three different books from which one may cover uh, mass transfer. Okay, now based on my observation and based on my experience what I understand is uh, this uh, Treval and uh, McKib, these both book are very good book but if you are going to uh, mass transfer first time then I think these two books is not very good because it is uh, to understand this uh, a base to understand this book a basic or just uh, fundamental understanding is beforehand is required okay so if you are preparing by yourself and if you do not have any uh, good uh, uh, teacher or professor then I would suggest you would start with Jean Coplis uh, because Jean Coplis is a very good book and it is also very easy to understand or very easy to read. Treval is no doubt is a very good or I can say it is the best in for mass transfer but what I have observed and what many students have told me that they are facing understanding Treval. So that's why I am suggesting you the if you have option then start with Jean Coplis. Otherwise if your professor is uh, uh, recommending Treval and they, they are teaching or he or she is teaching through Treval then you may follow Treval also. It is very good book no doubt you have to study Treval but for first go I would recommend Jean Coplis. McCabe, Smith and Treval should be supplemented. So now apart from this book some video lectures are also very good. The one video lecture which I would suggest by Professor Nisit Burma, IIT Kanpur and the course name on NPTEL is Mass Transfer 2. There is another video lecture by, uh, uh, by IIT Guwahati Professor Sam Mandal. Uh, the course name is Mass Transfer Operation 1. That video lecture I have... Uh, not gone through but many students have told me that that video lecture is not good so I, I would not suggest that video lecture so I would only suggest mass transfer 2 by professor Nisit Burma IIT Kanpur there is another video lecture by uh, professor V Kumaran uh, the course name is fundamental of transport process uh, he is a professor of IC Bangalore so I have 
already recommended professor v kumaran lecture uh, in my fluid dynamics fluid mechanics video as well as heat transfer video and i am going to again recommending this video for mass transfer so because this is very fundamental uh, and you have to cover it either for fluid mechanics heat transfer or mass transfer because basically it is a uh, course on transport phenomena so you have to cover apart from this i would also recommend some of my own youtube uh, video uh, the one video is on weight ball temperature i have explained it uh, very thoroughly about weight ball temperature i would recommend it for get another is i have uploaded some video lectures on distillation operations basically uh, the de design part of distillation and i would recommend you should go through uh, those videos also uh, though that videos those videos are not especially for gate rather those are more meant for interviews processes but um, anyway you have to go through these uh, videos for interview then i would suggest uh, just go through these videos before gate examination because some of the co concept i have explained very logically and you may find it may be useful to uh, for your distillation column design uh, syllabus and another is uh, for distillation column design by prof, uh, by kusan richardson chemical engineer De design uh, volume 6 by r k senot okay so i am going to discuss about first about what are the topics or what are the ch chapters you have to cover from gene couples okay so so just one minute okay so this is gene couples and this is chapter 6 so you have to study chapter 6 or you have to study chapter 6 and uh, just one minute you have to study chapter 6 start with chapter 6 you have to study 6.1 okay now you have to study 6. example of mass transfer process you have to study fick's law of molecular diffusion you have to study uh, you may also solve this example solve example convective mass transfer coefficient you have to study this is very important molecular diffusion in gases very important topic you have to study okay uh, solve this solve example also and general case for diffusion of gases a and b plus convection you have to study this is important okay now the next topic is a special case is uh, the diff a diffusing through a stagnant non diffusing b this is also important you have to study and the last topic is uh, diffusion through a varying cross cross sectional area this much you have to study okay now you should also solve the solve example which is uh, going through uh, which is coming in in between now diffusion coefficient uh, this is 6.2 point e sorry uh, just wait this you have to study this you have to study now diffusion coefficient for gases just go through it uh, this will be covered in professor v kumaran lecture but just go through it no need to memorize anything from here uh, similarly prediction of diffusivity for gases uh, this you should go through just once no need to memorize anything from here it it all will be covered in professor v kumaran lecture so you are, you just go through it Ischemic number for gases. Again, go through it. And molecular diffusion in liquid. Again, I will say that just go through it. Okay, these all will be covered in Professor Vee Kumaran lecture. Now, diffusion coefficient for liquid. Uh, this is experimental determination of uh, diffusivity. Uh, this is not in GATE syllabus. It is not required. So, I would say uh, this is not required. Okay. now uh now this is prediction of diffusivity in liquids you may read it no problem but uh, no need to memorize anything and from now onwards from see uh 
molecular diffusion in biological solution and gels uh, this is not required so uh, this is not required okay and from now now onward nothing is in gate syllabus in chapter 6 from gene couplets okay now uh, this is the last topic was in uh, diffusivity uh, prediction prediction of diffusivity uh, of electrolytes uh, diffusivity in liquids you uh, just go through it no problem in fourth edition there is another topic on pro prediction of diffusivity in uh, uh, diffusivity of electrolytes in liquids uh, the soft copies of for third edition so in my book uh, this uh, in fourth edition there is another topic prediction of diffusivity of electrolytes in liquid you may skip it no need to uh, go through this so anyway uh, let us move on onwards so we should move to sub chapter 7 chapter 7 okay now chapter 7 you have to study on steady state diffusion derivation of basic equation you just go through it and diffusion of in a flat plate with negligible surface resistance again go through it on steady state uh, diffusion in various geometry go through it this is very similar to on steady state heat transfer you may have gone through it now convective mass transfer coefficient uh, this is very important this is very important you have to go through it thoroughly types of mass transfer coefficient is again very important for gate you have to go through it mass transfer coefficient for equi equimolar counter diffusion uh, you have to go this uh, uh, table is also very important so you have to go through all these uh, uh, topics and finally these all formulas are summarized in this table so you have to go through it solve this uh, these unsolved example uh, solve example then again there is a topic mass transfer coefficient for general case of a now uh, this is uh, methods to determine mass transfer coefficient okay uh, mass transfer coefficient for various geometries okay you may skip it this this is not required so actually there is sorry uh, actually there is a difficulty with uh, because i have in my hand fourth edition and soft copies of third edition anyway uh, but uh, in fourth edition nothing is that much important mass transfer coefficient uh, with uh, under high flux condition is given in fourth edition you may read it or you may skip it no need to worry about this thing so 7.3 you may skip it but 7.3 b that this is very important for gate i am uh, again telling you this is very very important for gate you have to study it okay now now the all the analogies are very important now there is next topic is derivation of mass transfer coefficient in laminar flow you may go through it this is a very similar to uh, heat transfer and then again mass transfer for flow inside pipes all these things will be covered uh, in professor v kumar and lecture so you may skip it so from 7.3 d nothing you have to study uh, in from chapter 7 so so this you have to not study and from now onwards nothing is you have to study from chapter 7 anyway so move, moving onward on chapter nothing you have to study chapter 8 on evaporation this i have already covered in heat transfer so skip it now move to chapter 9 now chapter 9 is on drying you have to study this is very important for gate and it is very easy so you have to study so let us move to chapter 9 now in chapter 9 uh, purpose of drying just go through once now general methods of drying again go through once 9.2 equipment for drying skip it no need to go through these different types of equipment if you wish you may go through but uh, that is not uh, important for gate 
Now from 9.3 that is vapor pressure of water and humidity this is important for gate you have to go through it vapor pressure of water humidity and humidity chart all those things you have to go okay uh, again dew point humid heat total enthalpy humidity chart and adiabatic saturation temperature weight ball temperature all those things are very important and these all concepts i have explained in my one of my youtube video about weight ball temperature you should go through it then you will understand all these th uh, concept very thoroughly okay you may also read these topics from mckeven smith uh, and in mckeven smith sorry uh, sorry in treble uh, in treble you may go through yes in treble you may go through on page number uh, say 236 and from 236 you can read from adiabatic saturation curves to weight ball temperatures you you may go through it and up to this lewis relations all these things are important for uh, get so anyway so i was here now again 9.4 equilibrium moisture content of materials this is important again this experimental data of, of equilibrium moisture content for inorganic and biological materials again important uh, bounds and unbound water in solid again important these are very easy concept and so many question has been asked so i would suggest that go through this topic very thoroughly uh, free and equilibrium moisture of a substance is in gate syllabus rate of drying curve is again in gate syllabus moving onward drying in the constant again constant rate period falling rate period all are in gate syllabus syllabus moisture movement in solids during drying in the falling rate period go through it calculation again is in gate syllabus so many question has been asked on drying so go through it equation for hmm equation for predicting constant rate drying again go through it and effect of process variable on constant rate period go through it so you have to study up to this now in this now 9.7 is calculation method for falling rate drying period method using graphical integration go through it uh, though no question may be asked on this because they will not going to provide any graph and the last is calculation method for special cases in falling rate region this is important you should go through it so you have to study up to this uh, now 9.8 is convex uh, combined convection radiation and conduction heat transfer in constant rate period uh, this is not in gate syllabus so you have to uh, you not need not to cover all these concept so from 9.8 onward nothing is in gate syllabus so you should skip all those topics okay so let us move to chapter number 10 these are all uh, these all are in not not in gate syllabus now chapter 10 okay so move to chapter 10 so in chapter 10 you have to study types of separation processes and methods types of separation processes just go through it processing methods go through it phase rule and equilibrium go through it gas liquid equilibrium important single and multiple equilibrium contact stresses is important again single stage equilibrium contact uh, contact for gas solids gas liquid system important go through solve example counter current multiple contact stresses again important go through solve example analytical equation for counter current stage contact again important go through solve example and the next next topic is mass transfer between phases 
so you have to study these things this is important many question has been asked on these topics you have to study okay overall mass transfer coefficient and driving force again you have to study these all are covered in one of the video lectures of uh, professor nishit verma but still i would recommend you should go through this uh, because these topics required multiple readings anyway now continuous humidification process you have to go through it in this uh, uh, they have covered about cooling towers you have to go through it and basically it is more or less similar to pack bed uh, equations so uh, just go through it it is important design of water cooling towers using film mass transfer coefficient and design of water cooling tower using overall mass transfer coefficient these all you have to cover no need to go through difficult numericals but just read it how to how they are approaching to solve any question uh, the minimum value of air flow you may go through or you may skip not that much important temperature and humidity of air stream in towers go through it now the next topic is absorption in plate and pack towers go through it it is important uh, different types of packings design of plate absorption towers is again important okay Uh, there is another topic uh, pressure drop and flooding in packed towers this is in chap uh, this is in uh, uh, addition fourth addition uh, that is not here uh, you should study so i will what i will do is i will uh, i will take a photograph of this topic uh, pressure drop and flooding in packed towers and i will upload on my google drive anyway now design of plate absorption towers uh, you may skip it no need to cover from the here or you may go through it it depends on you i mean this this will be covered in many different places that's why i have told you uh, but anyway if you wish you may go through it now the next topic is film and overall mass transfer coefficient in packed towers this is this is important you should go through it this is about pack towers and simplified design method for absorption of dilute gas mixture in uh, pack towers just go through it uh, this is important so you have to cover up to this so again there is another topic these are just different variations of the fundamental equation designs of pack tower using transfer units so go through it up to this you have to go through it so absorption of concentrated mixture in packed towers i uh, no uh, no need to cover this so you have to read up to 10.6 from 10.7 onward uh, nothing you have to cover uh, from this chapter 10 okay so from 10.7 onward nothing you have to cover okay so up to 10.6 you have to study uh, many different concept will be also we covered from uh, nptel video lecture but still i would suggest you just go through it because these are difficult topics and it requires multiple reading so let us move to chapter 11 okay now in chapter 11 Uh, you have to uh, study this vapor liquid equilibrium relations boiling point diagram and xy plot this topic is, this uh, chapter is for distillation you have to study single stage equilibrium contact for vapor liquid system again you have to study simple distillation methods you have to study relative volatility again you have to study equilibrium or flash distillation again you have to study okay this batch distillation or differential distillation you have to study this is very important simple steam distillation you have to study mckithele this is the one of the most important topic of mass transfer and more very easy topic and so many question has been asked so you have to study no doubt about it so 
all these things you have to study these are very easy just go through it and so many question has been asked okay you have to solve also these solve examples total and minimum reflux ratio for mercaptilid these all things you have to study minimum reflux ratio optimum reflux ratio everything you have to study a special case for rectification using mckeev thele uh, thele method uh, go through it and the next is enriching column distillation go through it rectification tower with side stream no need to cover and the last topic is uh, rectification uh, towers sorry uh, there is another topic uh, rectification tower in my fourth edition uh, direct steam injection you have to cover it so you have to cover up to uh, third rectification with direct steam injection uh, rectification uh, with tower with side stream no need to cover if you wish you can go through it but mm, that is not required partial condenser you may go through it okay now distillation and absorption tray efficiency it is important so many question has been asked so you have to cover three all these things relationship between efficiency is also important now fractional distillation using enthalpy concentration method uh, this is many in many uh, colleges they used to teach but it is not in gate syllabus because it is very difficult and no one can ask it okay these are all lengthy calculation and so from 11.6 onward nothing you have to cover from chinkopolis uh, chapter 11 so let us move to chapter 12 Now, chapter twelve is liquid liquid and fluid solid separation process. So, basically, it is liquid liquid extraction and leaching processes. These are in get syllabus, uh, but uh, I would not recommend uh, if I mean if you are going through Jinkopolis, then it is okay. Otherwise, if you are going through other books, then I would not recommend to. cover these topics from jin couplets but since in my college my professor recommended jin couplets so i covered these topics from jin couplets jin couplets only so i would suggest what are the topics you have to cover from jin couplets for liquid liquid extraction and leaching processes so you have to go to straight forward 12.5 okay 12.5 so you have to read 12.5 this is about liquid liquid extraction process before that it was about adsorption process adsorption process i have not covered from jinkopolis rather i studied from treble so i i cannot recommend from uh, this jinkopolis book uh, so uh, for liquid liquid extraction you have to study 12.5 ab b about equilibrium relations in extraction 12.6 uh, this is types of equipment and design for liquid liquid extraction just uh, go through it this these all thing you have to study but 12.6 about equipment for liquid liquid extraction uh, this you may skip it or just go through once now 12.6 continuous multi stage counter current extraction you have to study so go through this all those things you have to study now basically uh, these liquid liquid extraction many other different books uh, uh, they have used instead of this rectangular uh, uh, triangle uh, they have used equilateral triangle to represent and that's why some of the question in gate they also ask 
based on equilateral triangle uh, because in travel uh, they have used uh, equilateral triangle to represent different concentrations so that's why you need to also study how to read that equilateral tri triangle so just go through either from travel or McEwen Smith because in Ginkopolis uh, concentration are represented on these triangles uh, Jean Coplis have not used about equilateral triangle. So how to do read uh, concentration on equilateral triangle? You need to uh, study. So that's why I was telling that if you are going through travel, then stick on that uh, travel. No need to go through this uh, Jean Coplis. Anyway, this there are very less number of questions asked on liquid liquid extraction. Uh, Twelve point seven. You have to uh, study up to twelve point seven. Uh, now 12.8 is about leaching processes. Leaching processes again you you may skip it from Ginkopolis if you are studying from anywhere else. Otherwise just go through this. Uh, leaching processes you have to study all these things. These are conceptual understanding. Go through it. Types of equipment for leaching just go through it. And just go through all those things. Equilibrium diagram for single stage leaching, all those things, just go through it. Multi stage leaching, again go through it. So, obviously, one cannot ask about question based on these difficult drawings. So, basically, conceptual understanding will be required and how you can write balances across the unit operations. That will be important. So, just try to build a conceptual understanding of leaching and liquid liquid extraction and how to write balances, how you can read the diagram and uh, that will be suffice. Anyway, so this will this will be all about from uh, Ginkopolis. okay now let us move to other sources so other sources uh, NPTEL lecture series by professor v kumar by isc bangalore okay and i have already recommended many times uh, i have already recommended in fluid mechanics video as well as uh, heat transfer video that you have to study from lecture 1 to 9 and you have to study from this fundamental fundamentals of transport process fundamental of transport process 1 I mean this video lectures you uh, you need not to cover this fundamental of transport process 2 this is not required so you have to study only 9 lecture and this is very fundamental for understanding basics of chemical engineering so I would recommend it okay so basically lecture 1 to 4 he has covered about dimensionless analysis this is very important for get and lecture 5 to 7 this is for mass transfer or basically this is transport phenomena so uh, this is about mechanism of diffusion and diffusivity uh, coefficient uh, different types of diffusivity in solid liquid and gas phases and the, in the next topic unidirectional transport in Cartesian coordinates you have to just study two lectures so only nine lecture lecture will suffice so what I would recommend it uh, that you go through this video lecture try to make a notes and obviously uh, these three lecture will not cover everything about transport phenomena so that's why I have already recommended many different uh, pages uh, from uh, Jean Coplis that you have to go through it so what I would suggest is uh, just go through these three video lectures and then uh, you have already gone through Jean Coplis and then what you do is what are the important uh, topics or important concept which you are uh, gaining from Jean Coplis just put it down in your notes uh, on this uh, transport phenomena by Professor I.C. Bangalore. So what I did is I uh, ma made a note based on these three lectures and I skipped some blank pages and then I put it down from Jean Coplis whatever the important topics which is related to this diffusion. Anyway. 
Apart from this, there is another very good uh, lecture by Professor Nishit Burma. I have wrongly written here, Professor V. Kumar Sankar. It is not. This is uh, Professor Nishit Burma uh, from IIT Kanpur. And you have to watch lecture 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 and 9. Lecture 3 is basically about solve examples. So, if you wish, you can go through it. Otherwise, just skip it. Okay. Apart from this, I, I again did the same thing as I did for Professor V. Kumar and ICC Bangalore. I made a lecture note based on this uh, mass transfer 2 uh, by Professor Nishit Burma. And then what I did is I put it down what are the important topics, uh, we, important concept which I found from gene complex. For example, I, I was just looking on my notes and I found that I have written some of the concept from gene complex page number 417 to 400. 20 uh, this is for from fourth edition 469 642 676 and mccabe page 563 so i i am just recommending that you should make a notes and so that you need not to go through again and again from gene copolis now lecture 30 to 34th is regarding adsorption uh, there are very few number of questions has been asked on adsorption uh, but uh, I found uh, one question was asked in recent years so I would suggest that you go through this lecture 30 to 34 and after going through this lecture you may cover this adsorption from Treval also so cover only those top point which is covered in lecture 30 to 34 other lectures I have not gone through because distillation, absorption, drying, all these concepts were very clearly taught in my college. So I did not uh, uh, go through uh, uh, this uh, mass transfer to by Professor Nishit Burma. If you wish, then you may go through. These, he is very good professor. His teaching method is good and you will be uh, get, you will be beneficial. Now, I have my other suggestion about, but before I have other suggestion, let us discuss about uh, design part. Okay. So, since uh, this lesson column design is also in get syllabus, but uh, obviously uh, uh, no question will be asked on direct design because that will be not be possible so basically conceptual understanding will be asked so this uh, will uh, this was covered in my college from Kulsan Richardson volume 6 by RKC note and uh, you have to cover chapter 11 for this uh, this lesson column design so if, if in your college also uh, your professor has covered from this uh, topic uh, this book then only go through this book otherwise no need to go through this otherwise just cover whatever sources your professor have taught anyway so if you are going through this uh, question Richardson volume 6 then you have to cover uh, chapter 11 just go through it 11.1 11.2 3 4 5 6 7 11.8 is not required 11.9 go through it 11.10 is uh, go through it and this AICHE method not required, approximate column sizing go through it, plate contactors go through it and plate hydraulic design. So you have to go through up to this plate hydraulic design and just go through solve example. So basically they will ask about the basic understanding, uh, no correlation need, not, uh, need to memorize, I mean nothing you have to memorize. Uh, they will ask basically basic understanding and sometimes they will ask uh, what equation is used for what purpose for example I found that uh, one question was asked in Underwood equation is used for what purpose Fensky equation is used for what purpose so just uh, have a basic understanding or fundamental or conceptual understanding so if you have gone through it revision will not take much time and if you have not gone through this book then I would not suggest that go through this book rather you have to go through that book from where you have your professor have taught okay now apart from these sources what I found that there is a very good uh, uh, 
there is a very good uh, presentation was available uh, about uh, packed absorption and stripping col columns so by going through this uh, this presentation you will understand what is the difference between HTTP and uh, HTU and N and NTU so there are two different concepts for packed bed HTU and NTU similarly uh, number of theoretical plates and height equivalent to theoretical plates so the difference will be cleared uh, based on this uh, presentation uh, this presentation i could not find out uh, right now uh, rather i fi found uh, in 2013 or 2014 so i will upload on on my google drive uh, this presentation so anyway based on all these sources what i would suggest is that mass transfer is a difficult subject for chemical engineering uh, so multiple reading is required so even if you are going through Nishit Verma lecture, still I would suggest you should also go through Ginkopolis. And even if you are going through Ginkopolis, still I would suggest you should also go through Treval and uh, uh, McEwen Smith. So basically, a multiple reading will, uh, will be beneficial. So what I would suggest, if you are going through first time mass transfer, then first read Ginkopolis then go through IC Bangalore lecture series and then go through IIT Kanpur lecture series. But if you are in fourth year or you have to pass, you if you have passed out, then what I will suggest is first go through IC Bangalore video lecture because it will be very fundamental and going through this lecture, you, your basic understanding of diffusion and convection will be cleared. And then you when you go through Professor Nishit Verma lecture, then you will be uh, uh, find it is easy to understand Professor Nishit Verma lecture, and finally go through Jean Coplis, so that you so that your concept build up uh, at upper level. Now, what I would suggest that when you read mass transfer, always try to look an analogy between heat transfer and mass transfer because there is analogous uh, analogy between heat transfer and mass transfer. So, if you write an equation for an unsteady state heat transfer, similarly, for if you write equation for unsteady mass transfer, then you should uh, think you should uh, look at the similarity between the equations. So, okay, that is very important. Similarly, if you write material balance between different unit operation for example if you are writing balance for uh, cooling tower uh, packed co co packed cooling tower and similarly packed bed uh, distillation columns say then you should understand you should look at the analogy between the uh, different htu and ntu equations that will be easy to memorize equations okay so there are so many analogy between different unit operation for example if you have gone through very thoroughly about absorption and stripping then liquid liquid extraction equation and leaching equation is more or less similar so you have to look on those uh, uh, thing otherwise it will be very difficult to memorize all different formulas okay Apart from this, I would also suggest that notes is essential. You should try to make notes and for that, uh, what I would suggest is uh, try to make notes while watching video lectures and modify your notes by including important points from different books. Uh, as I have just suggested, I have modified my lecture, uh, I, am, I have modified my uh, lecture note from IC Bangalore Professor V. Kumaran uh, by including many topics from Gene Complex. So I would also upload my uh, diffusion uh, lectures uh, note uh, from IIC Bangalore uh, where I have included many different uh, concepts from different books and different sources so that you have you may have a basic understanding that how you said you have to prepare your notes. Okay. If, uh, if your time permit, then you should also go through McCabe and Treval because Treval is a very good book and if you go through all these things, then you will start enjoying Treval also. So, for example, I have gone through two film theory from chapter 17 of McCabe, chapter 18, packing and pack towers I have studied, chapter 19, cooling towers I have studied. And azeotropic and extractive distillation uh, is given in chapter 22 of McCabe and you have to study. And this I have telling about a uh, telling from sixth edition of McCabe and Smith. Okay, so azeotropic and extractive distillation is uh, you have to cover only from uh, McCabe and uh, Smith only. And 
what i suggest is if you have time then you should you may also solve uh, unsolved question of gene couplings uh, those are easy questions and you make uh solve if your time permit but you need not to solve again and again uh, you only once will be suffice <coughs> okay now some question what i found is basically uh, if you have a basic understanding of liquid liquid destruction or leaching and then uh, if you cannot recall any formula for liquid liquid destruction or leaching then also you can solve your uh, question by just applying mass and energy balance so basically what i am telling is uh, that do not afraid or do not uh, have a fear for, of mass transfer uh, question because many question are just a basic met mass balance across the unit operation so have a basic understanding of unit operation and try to write balance equations okay so so many time what happens it happens with me also what we used to do is that if it uh, if we read a question and if we find that it is from say liquid liquid uh, extraction then we straight forward move to another question that i have not gone through liquid liquid extraction thoroughly uh, you should not do it like this just go through it you have a basic understanding of liquid liquid extraction what happens in liquid liquid extraction you know and then just write material balance then also you may be able to solve some of the questions and the last or the most important is you have to solve previous year papers from 1990 to 2018 i again repeating uh, that mass transfer is one of the most difficult subject of chemical engineering uh, do not be this hot and if you are not able to solve some of the questions in your first year go because in my first go i was not able to solve most of the questions only some of the topics are easy for example drawings distillations and absorption stripping these are easy topics you may solve it but packed column and uh, uh, diffusion convective mass transfer coefficient all these topics was not covered in my college very thoroughly so that's why uh, i was facing many difficulty uh, during my preparation but if you go through again and again then it will be uh, easy to you so that's why i suggest that go through video lectures go through gene couplings and you may also go through travel uh, the problem with travel is uh many questions which is solved or unsolved are very lengthy so you need not to go through solve example or unsolve example from travel just go through conceptual understanding from travel okay so travel should be a supplementary book it should not be a main book i am again telling if you are using travel as a main book it is okay but in my opinion travel should not be a main book because in travel solve examples are very lengthy on solve example is also very lengthy and the presentation is not very good so only those people will enjoy which is uh, who have a very basic understanding of mass transfer so anyway i will i will i am going to stop this video uh, the errors of the mass transfer uh, in arihant solution uh, will uh, will be covered in another video thank you for watching